Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading update. Today's Tuesday, October 13th. Uh, really nice green day today. $1,753.25 was the, was the total. Uh, let's run through these real quick, starting with, uh, try to take a little runner in the S&P. Uh, got flushed out, took a little loss there. Uh, in the NASDAQ and Dow, I did have a pairs trade that actually profited over $200. I ended up trying to take a runner in the NASDAQ as well. Got smoked out of that one a little bit. So I took a loss, loss there, but my pairs trade overall was a winner. Uh, Baba was my biggest loser, uh, 1327. I'll go over what happened there. Uh, nice winner in CMG, nice winner in Peloton. Really nice winner in Roku, my biggest winner, and a really nice winner in Tesla, and then a small loser in Uber. So let's check out what happened today. Uh, let's start on the future side on the NASDAQ. So I was trying to catch a, uh, a runner, and it was a little bit later in the morning uh, after, after price held above uh, in the positive territory, I was looking for a continuation to the upside and I got flushed out. And so ended up taking a pretty sizable loss there. I did, uh, I think I had like five contracts on at that point. So uh, ended up taking a loss there. ES, uh, that was just a small loser. Uh, I was actually trying to take a short runner here and I got flushed out in this little spike here. Uh, Alibaba. Okay, let's talk about this one. This was my biggest loser. So uh, we started off the morning really good, had this flush down and we, and we got long right here on a mighty 90 trade, rode this up, had a really nice winner, uh, and then was looking for a re reversal. So we got short right after we got out and it just, it started to go down and then it just, and just fired up. And the one thing I did wrong here is, is I definitely did not cut my losses short here. So I took, I took a big loss here that I should not have taken. Uh, so that ended up being a, a over $1,300 loser in BABA. CMG, this was called out by my boy David in the room. Um, he, he caught a glimpse of CMG running, running strong. And so when it started to consolidate above this pivot, we caught a little bit of this. And then a little bit later in the morning after it pulled back again, I caught another little winner there. So total profit in CMG, uh, $745. Piton continues to be a great runner. Uh, got in this one a little bit later in the morning when it started to consolidate here above, uh, right at the pivot, and caught a little of this upside action right there. Roku was my biggest winner. So let's see what we did in Roku. Okay, so Roku to start with, we did have a little loser trying to get short after this big push. I was trying to trying to catch a little little bit of a, a retracement. Ended up just getting just got out of the trade. It, it started looking strong and, and consolidating here. So we ended up taking a um, taking a long runner. Actually, it was a mighty ninety setup right here, and it just kind of went sideways, sideways. And so we we added to it again here. And then I added to it a later, a little bit later in the morning again here, and that's when it, that's just when it took off. I held it all the way to here, and then, um, and then I was out. So just really nice runner there in Roku, and then Tesla. Let's take a look at Tesla. So I was, I was watching this. It started to consolidate after this big push, and I did not. I missed this entire run up. And then I actually took a break. And so I actually took this trade a little bit later in the day. Uh, it was a little bit afternoon. So Tesla look, made a big push here, went negative on the day, and then immediately fired up and then and held in positive territory. And so I took uh, a long position, caught some of that, pulled back, and then I entered again and caught some of that. So Really nice trading overall, plus $1,753.25 on the day. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Uh, we'll be in the room same time tomorrow morning. See you then.